So today's video is very long awaited. I've been wanting to do an outfits I've been loving because all summer and spring I've been really into layering and having fun with color and texture. I've definitely found style formulas that I really like and I keep recreating. It's helping me get an idea of what I like on myself and what I feel really comfortable in. I've really found that my style relies heavily on comfort so you're not gonna see a lot of pants. I am really a skirt person. But let's get into these outfits. I'm gonna be standing over there and I will have my phone as my mic because I don't have a wireless mic. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm holding my phone and let's get started. So here's the first one. I actually just wore this out today. I went to the bank and the grocery store and this is a reoccurring combo but not the skirt specifically the top so the top i have two layers and underneath is a bralette that i've had forever and this velvet top that has this corset detail i have had for a long time i actually dyed it to be a little bit darker and replaced the green laces with black so just a little bit of contrast a little bit more interesting than just green on green and the skirt is something I've had for a long time. I actually dyed this. It was more muted, so it was pink and green, and I just put it in purple dye. And so it just is a bit more saturated, more for my color season. So there's a lot of like movement and flowiness that I really like. I have it paired with these Tevas that I cannot stop wearing. Like they're just so comfortable. So here we have this one. This is actually the first maxi skirt outfit that i've worn with this top combination i love how it has these little buttons on the front these i don't know what they're called but they're covered in fabric these just remind me of like olden day buttons that are like right here i feel like i need to come up with better words other than olden days i also have the black sandals that i cannot wear for some reason on and you know it's not as loud it's definitely not as sporty so that's why I like having like leather sandals. Is there something on my foot? Yes, there is. Piece of tape. So yeah, this alpha formula, comfy tank top with fully maxi skirt. Amazing. I need to, you know, do more of this. That's what I found out. Now we have this outfit still with the pink skirt. This is actually, I think the first outfit that got me really excited about getting dressed for the summer. I thrifted this poncho. It was... I don't even know, like probably like less than $10. I never would have been this colorful. It's definitely the movie Encanto that really inspired me. I just think the characters in there are so cute, specifically the sister that has her hair tied up that can hear everything. I wear my hair like that a lot and I just feel like her. And with this outfit, I do usually have my hair up because I don't want it to be in the way. I do have on that black bralette underneath, but I normally have a tank top on. It's not normally so um see-through but i mean it doesn't really matter because everything's covered but in the like heat of summer i do not wear this i'll probably bring this up back out in the fall when it's a bit chillier and it's just oh just so cultural i love it the handmade aspect it just makes me so happy i also realized i'm doing something kind of funny where i'm taking off a piece and leaving one on and then replacing something i don't know if that'll continue but I feel like it's a smart idea because I won't get too hot. This next one I've actually worn twice now. I've worn it out to eat and then to a concert. It's just an easy one that I know looks cute and it's, you know, a dress. It's flowy. It has the option of having my shoulders covered if I want to or, you know, nice and off the shoulder fairy like. This combination came to me and I was so overjoyed with... I don't know, the spark, because I would never have thought to pair something like this together. Like with this peeking through and intentionally looking strappy and it's a bit sensual, it's very flowy, it has movement to it. And I actually did this myself. This is one of those free people dresses. They're like very popular, they've been around forever. And this was raw at the bottom and I hemmed it myself because I just didn't, know what the deal was and i also found a tj maxx so it was probably a reject but i actually enjoy the fact that it's asymmetrical you can see that it's shorter over here than over on the side and i love it i just love that it looks imperfect it's very like handmade 
looking. This top gave me trouble. This is from Cider and it's a bit off-white, so I always have trouble pairing it with white. So I realized that this, this would look perfect because there is no white on this. It's just all blue. So if I end up with things in my wardrobe that are just navy, this top, I just know will look amazing. So that just shares little lessons that I found while in this whole process of trying to figure out what clothes look cute together. And one last thing, brown sandals. Just because I felt like I wanted my legs to be elongated also adds to the handmade aspect. Like these are not um, made or bought. These were found in the forest, made by fairy hands. This is the outfit that I wore out to eat with my friends and went out and about and I felt so fun because I decided to put this bralette on the outside of the shirt, which I, I don't know why it <laughs> came to me, but this white top I really love. It's cotton. So the back does have this bow that you tie, which means that you either have to wear a sticky bra or a bralette, and I just chose to wear the bralette on the outside because it adds a bit of contrast and I feel like it looks more intentional. Plus, I really love how this goes straight across and then this is up like that, I don't know. And you can see all the lace detailing. So cute, I love it. And then back to the pink skirt. And I wore the black sandals with this outfit because I wanted to tie in the black. And then for a bag, which I have not been doing this whole entire video, I'm so sorry, I did my little basket bag. And I have this little, scarf on here actually no it's not even a little scarf it's a huge scarf this bag is from fat fit fun i've had it for years and i just you know i just love it i just love it so there's that absolutely adorable again love tying my hair up with this and this i would actually wear with my tivas it just instantly makes the outfit look sporty which reminds me a lot of the styles on free people where people will wear really bohemian clothing and then they'll have a sneaker, a Tiva. And I don't know why that was so intense. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that's what it looks like, which I like. It's combination. It doesn't make things look too serious, which is what I'm trying to do. Like, it looks like I'm wearing a skirt. It's a lot. But at the same time, I feel really free and I feel like I can move. I might have to, like, you know, hold the skirt up a bit if I have to run, but... That's about it. Okay, camera died, so we're back. And this outfit I wore yesterday. If you would have told me I'd be wearing long biker shorts underneath a skirt, um, I would have been like, no, I wouldn't have. But then I became obsessed with new jeans, so here we are, new jeans it up. And I, I know the dance, I know the super shy dance, <laughs> not the whole dance. This outfit I came up with yesterday and I felt really cute, really colorful. I still felt like I was honoring like the color because I fell into the habit of wearing a lot of dark colors and black and white and um, this sports bra is hot pink. As you can see, it's like a nice scoop neck and it has this cutout. And then this green top, um, I dyed, it was, I think like, a, it was white. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about it. And I hardly wore it because of the bra situation, but then I just made it intentional. The bra straps are peeking out and completely fine with it. The skirt is actually a skirt. It's from American Eagle. I've had it for a long time. And to be honest, I don't wear it out and about to play frisbee golf or go hiking because the shorts are so short. It's like underwear. So I wear it around the house. So with this solution, it's just amazing. And for the shoes, these are my like only sneakers that are sporty. They're the Nike Free Metcons, and I wish I could wear them with little white socks, but I don't have any that are thin enough. So I have my Deathly Hallows socks, and it makes it look like a little boot in a weird way, like a sporty sock boot. My hair actually was in two bun buns yesterday with these braids. They come from like right here, and then I just have it up like half up, half down but I had two buns and I felt like an anime character. How are they gonna know that I am my age? That's just what my brain did yesterday. So, you know, just have fun with your outfits. That's what I'm telling you. Up next, we have this, which is my birthday outfit that I wore on my actual birthday. From above, this outfit looks very plain. This puff sleeve top that I've had for a while, I actually dyed to make darker because it was a muted pink. 
and then this nice poplin skirt from Abercrombie & Fitch. And for the shoes, I had a little fun, which I only did once. These are really shiny socks. <laughs> that's what they are. They reminded me of mermaid core, so that's why I picked them up. I found them out like TJ, but they're from Urban. I don't know what brand. And with the Tevas, because clearly I was, you know, having fun with my Tevas all the time. Also, these are kids. So if you want to find this color combo, I don't know if they make it in adult sizes and they were like $16. And I think the socks happened because I wasn't used to the feeling of the Tiva strap and I just wanted a sock barrier and I figured I would just make it a fun sock. And I had had these socks for months and didn't know what to pair them with. So, so that's what happened. And I really still like this outfit. There's just something about it. I feel like the top is so plain and simple that I just love to be wacky with the sandals. Here we have a bit more of a simple outfit, which is just black and white. I love black and white. And I was really excited to get shorts that are not denim. So I found these at Abercrombie & Fitch. I also have them in white, but I don't wear those ones as often because even though they're double layered, they still look a bit sheer and... For some reason, the cut of these gives me a wedgie, so I always want to wear like little shorts under them, but I don't have them on like right now um, for this video, but I just have little like Nike Pros that I like to wear. Again, sensory issues, but yeah, this is just like a nice, simple, I feel like adult outfit. This top I've had for so long, it's very thin and I've colored it, I've bleached it, that's probably why. But if this top ever dies, I'm going to be so sad. So I'm currently like on the hunt to find a replacement because it's just everything to me. Like the sleeves, little tie up, lace up, lace right here, and I can tuck it in. So it's nice and like comfy. And I used to wear this just out, not tucked in which I feel like I had to do because tucking it into denim was just too bulky because denim shorts are just tight. But with this kind of short, more of like a, a cotton, there are no pockets, so it's not bulky. It just, it just fits. And then I have on my brown sandals because I feel like I want it to be all one color. Here we have a long dress, which I don't really buy a lot of, but I thrifted this one. It was like $6 or something like that probably cheaper. Um, the size small is from Old Navy. It's cotton and I think I love it. Oh, I know I love it because it's three quarter length sleeves. So it shows my wrists. And if you're petite, that's one way to honor your frame is by showing like the tiny parts of you. And also wearing something high neck makes me look not as short versus if something was plunging, it would kind of bring me down. So I love that this ties up and this does have a little bit of a deep V. So I paired it with this bralette that's just like a lace panel, very comfy, just like easy breezy. This also has little buttons that, I don't know, are visible. It's not like those ones that are covered by fabric, but kind of. And then it also has a print all over that's embroidered, it looks like little leaves or something and then for accessories i have two belts on i have so many belts it's ridiculous but this one i paired with it because it's a big dress and i really wanted it to cinch correctly this is a small so there's a lot of fabric and there are pockets fyi just amazing for my lip balm it also has a nice little ruffled panel at the bottom which i really like just the whole thing and when I wore this out and about on a date with my husband, I wore brown boots with it, which, you know, definitely go. It reminds me of a Renaissance fair outfit where I'd have a long skirt with boots, but I have worn this with sandals casually. And when I was at a hotel for a week, this is my breakfast dress. I put this on every single day, went down, and I just tied this thing around my waist. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my thought process, how I've been dressing, and just maybe some little tips, takeaways, I don't know. But I'm really excited to be jumping in to this new chapter where I'm opening up about my style and just having fun with 
my clothes and expressing myself other than makeup. Thank you for watching. Hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.